Today, we bring you another fantastic book summary. The book of the day is The Magic of Thinking Big. In this book, the writer David J. Schwartz explains the power of thinking big, it is so magical that it guides people to make the wise decisions and achieve their goals. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the summary. Chapter 1, Believe You Can Succeed, and You Will. Your thoughts limit how well you do. You'll fail if you doubt yourself. Thinking about failure is small. You want to have bigger ideas. With your increased ability, you can take the best steps. You'll work with good people and make good friends. Beliefs limit your success. Chapter 2, Cure Yourself of Excusitis, the Failure Disease. People who look for solutions are less likely to make excuses. Schwartz says that excuses don't work. Health, intelligence, age, and luck are the worst things to use as an excuse. Even a cold gets worse if you talk about it. Poor health talk feeds weeds. Chapter 3, Build Confidence and Destroy Fear. Destroy fearful thoughts associated with actions that will help you achieve your objectives. You must come to terms with your fear. If you want to eliminate your fear, take action and do something. Action alleviates fear. Isolate your fear, then take action constructively. Chapter 4, How to Think Big. To become a big thinker, we must develop the vocabulary of a big thinker. Try to use upbeat language. For instance, the words victory, hope, happiness, and pleasure. Additionally, it would help if you avoided words that evoke unpleasant images of failure, defeat, and sorrow. Chapter 5, How to Think and Dream Creatively. When you believe something is possible, your mind will devise methods for achieving it. Faith that a solution will emerge will pave the way for its emergence. There is no limit to personal development. Therefore, ask yourself how you can improve. This question stimulates the mind to generate intelligent and creative responses. Chapter 6, You Are What You Think You Are. Improving your thinking improves your actions, which leads to success. Your appearance speaks volumes. Therefore, to think and feel important, it is necessary to appear important. Chapter 7, Manage Your Environment, Go First Class. Your mental state is a result of your environment. The people you associate with, the clothes you wear, the neighborhood in which you reside, and the food you consume all have an effect. The environment influences the way you think. Enhance your environment to enhance your thinking. Chapter 8, Make Your Attitudes Your Allies. Results are proportional to the amount of enthusiasm expended. Schwartz suggests three ways to improve your attitude. Start digging. When uninterested, learn more. This inspires. Adopt a you matter mindset. When people feel valued, they'll help. Always be thankful. Calling people by their names boosts self-esteem. Put service first, and money will follow. Always exceed expectations. Chapter 9, Think Right Toward People. Your success in any endeavor is contingent on the assistance and approval of others. You cannot achieve your objectives alone. To receive this support, you must be likable. Likeability impacts every aspect of your life, including your career. Chapter 10, Get the Action Habit. Successful individuals are activists. People who have developed the habit of taking action are active. Therefore, please do not wait for ideal conditions because they will never exist. Instead, anticipate that you will face obstacles in the future and resolve them as they arise. Chapter 11, How to Turn Defeat into Victory Success and failure differ in one's response to setbacks, disadvantages, discouragements, and other discouraging circumstances. Schwartz provides five tips for turning defeat into victory. These guidelines are Learn from your failures. Losing teaches valuable lessons. Next time, remember these lessons. Be willing to self-critique. Find and fix your flaws. You're a pro. Don't blame luck. Learn from each setback. Luck has never helped anyone succeed. Experiment with tenacity. Keep going, but don't be stubborn. Experiment with new methods. Every situation has an upside. Locate discouragement's negative outcomes. 
Chapter 12, Use Goals to Help You Grow. Schwartz emphasizes the significance of setting objectives. Goals help you visualize where you want to be and where you're headed. Schwartz provides an eight-step method for effective goal setting. Know your goal. Think ahead 10 years. 10-year plan. You can't risk your life. Plan career, home, and social goals. Give in to your desires to gain energy and enthusiasm. Goal setting should be automatic. When your goal consumes you, you'll make decisions automatically. Step-by-step -step accomplish your goal. Every action, however small, is a step toward your goal. 30-Day Goals. Persistence pays off. Chapter 13, How to Think Like a Leader. Your external environment reflects your inner state. If you do not present yourself as confident, the world will not view you as a valuable individual. Consequently, adhere to Schwartz's four steps to begin thinking like a leader. It is a fantastic book. If you want to read the entire book then it is available on Amazon at a very low price. And if you want to download and listen to the full audiobook for free then you can join Audible using the link in the description. Following the link, you will get free membership and one credit every month to download and listen to any audiobook that you like. So, don't miss out. So, this is the complete summary of the book The Magic of Thinking Big written by David J. Schwartz. If you have any questions or any other books you want me to cover in my upcoming videos, then comment below. Always stay happy and see you next time.